Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video I'm going to be turning this Ken Toys farm or cattle truck into a post-apocalyptic style zombie transporter. So I'm not too sure when this particular model of truck was released. I believe Ken Toys are a Hong Kong based toy company that was started in 1998. This truck came from a series of truck toys that were called wheelers. So I'm sure some of you will have a bit more information or maybe owned one or something. Feel free to comment down below. So we'll just take a closer look at it. So one thing you might notice is that most of this toy is actually plastic. Only the chassis of the truck is die cast. It's not in bad condition. There's a few scuffs and stuff on it. I think it's modelled after a Volvo truck. Somebody might be able to correct me on that. And I think for once it's actually in about 165 scale. So it would go good alongside some of my other post-apocalyptic cars. And here's the trailer, that's all plastic. And of course it's a cattle trailer. See the rear opens there. And there's posts and stuff inside it so you couldn't really stick much in it. Okay, so let's crack on and take it apart. And for a change, this toy is just held together with some Phillips heads screws. So I just have to unscrew them. There we go, and the whole thing will just come apart. As soon as I get these wheels out, it'll come apart anyway. There we go, there is the tractor taken apart, and now I'll do the trailer, similarly just held together with screws. And there is the trailer disassembled. Next thing I did was to pull off those horrible stickers. And now the parts are all nice and clean, I could move on with some fabrication. So I've got some tread plate styrene here. I'm going to start cutting some armor plates out of that and sticking them onto the front of my truck. I'm using super glue to glue these parts on. So I'll continue adding some more armor also use some framing there to make a bumper at the front. Next I've cut out a flat plate to go over the top of the bonnet. And I've got some small styrene rod here. 
and I'm just cutting some little tiny slices off it and then I'll be able to glue those on as rivets onto my armor panel. Right, so after a little bit of work, here is my armor panel all riveted up and glued onto the bonnet of the truck. Next, I've modeled myself a ram's head out of some modeling clay. I'm going to be attaching this onto the front of my truck. And then I continued with some more spikes and armor, etc. There's a few more little skulls there and some chains chained onto the horns of the ram. Moving on to the cab, start out with some little styrene frames there. And then I made some more armored panels to stick over the doors. So I've cut out some little notches for the door handles there. So here's the cab of our truck starting to come together. Added some more riveted armor to the section under the cab there. And next I've armored up the cabin at the back. So chained some skulls onto the side of it. And here's the tractor after a bit more work. Put some bars over the window there and some mesh. Moving on to the trailer now. So I started out by marking out a piece of tread plate so I'm going to put it down and I'll cut out where those little trap doors will be and I'm also going to use my craft knife to cut out one of the trap doors so that I can have it open Right, so there's the trapdoor and the tread plate. So I'll glue those on. I've got a Hot Wheels road bandit here. And I've chopped it up and I'll be using that on the top of my trailer. Also stuck a gun in there and some armor. Use some super glue to glue that on the top rear of the trailer. Next, I'm going to put some big metal bars up the sides. Just using some thick styrene here. I think it's about two or three millimeters thick. I've cut out my bars and then I'm using a half round needle file to carve some gouges into them.
Also chopped out the cab from a truck here. I've armoured that up a little bit. It's a mesh in the windows and I put that on the front top of the trailer. And next I add some chain onto the posts there. Next I took my modding clay out again and I've made a great big skull and crossbones here and some smaller little skulls. And I use these and some spikes to decorate the top of the road bandit. I've also added a little ladder to the side there and skulls on the top of the metal posts. So there is most of the fabrication done. Now I can move on with painting. So I'm going to start out by painting the parts of the tractor in black. Next I took my airbrush and I hit the body parts of the truck with some green. Then I did a light coat of watered down white over that just to give the green a more faded appearance. Next I paint all of the metal parts in silver. I'm using Vallejo metal colour silver here. Next I'm going to use some burnt red and rust coloured paint to paint in some rust all over my truck. And so here is the tractor after all the patchy rust has been painted in there. Also done the cabin area there. And the same to that middle section. Next I'm going to apply a black wash over the whole thing.
Once the black wash had fully dried, I apply some metallic blue and red weathering powders over the ram's head and the skulls. I give these tires on the front here a fresh coat of black paint. Next I'm going to use a dry brush and I've cut the bristles in half so they're kind of stiff. And I'm going to use this to apply some Vallejo rust weathering powders, pigment powders they are rather. And I'm just rubbing these dry onto my model. So just to head off a load of people in the comments, I'm aware that this cab would probably be made of fiberglass, but there'd still be rust coming down off of all the armor, etc. The pigment powders were sealed with a very thin coat of matte varnish. Right, so there's a major rusting session done. Now I can move on to that lone cast metal part, the chassis of the truck. I'm not even going to bother stripping it, I just hit it with a coat of black paint. It's going to be my base color. Next, I paint in some rust patches. Once I'd painted in my rust patches, I went over the whole thing with a very light coat of silver weathering powder. Just using the brush end of my applicator here, rather than the spongy end.
And then again, I rubbed in the rust pigment powders. And again, this is sealed with matte varnish. Next thing to do was the wheels. I don't want these frog green wheels on my zombie transporter. So I'm going to have to give them a paint job. Those are actually quite nicely detailed truck hubs. Anyway, I start out by painting over that green with a base coat of black. There we go, that's looking much better already. Next I gave them a coat of silver and then I rubbed in some quite heavy layers of rust pigments and I didn't blow off all of the pigment powder, I've left it quite thick on there and sealed them with a thin coat of matte varnish. And finally, here's the interior of the truck. I just detailed this. And so, here are all the parts of our post apocalyptic zombie hauling truck all painted and ready to reassemble so we'll put that aside for now and move on to the trailer so the first step in painting the trailer was to paint the wood started out with some Israeli sand primer next I painted it with concrete And then a light patchy coat of light sand colour. And the next thing I do is apply a dark grey wash. So that's given us our base old wood look for the wood parts of the trailer. Now I can move on to the metal parts. Started out by painting all these in steel. This is Vallejo metal colour steel. And here it is with all the metal parts painted. Next I go over all of these with a black wash. I'm going to avoid the wood area so I'm only putting the wash over the metal.
while that wash is drying I hit the road bandit turret section there with some black paint and then I painted the metal parts steel and again painted in some rust patches all over it And this was also treated with the pigment and weathering powders. Next I paint in the rust patches onto the metal parts of the trailer. And once I was happy with the heavier rust, I moved on to the pigment powders. Here is the chassis of the trailer, I didn't do much to this, just added a couple of tread plate armour panels there, I've hit it with a base coat of black, I'll detail those armour plates in some steel. And once again with the rust patch detailing and moving on to the rust pigment powders. The trailer had the same wheels as the rear of the truck, so those were also given the same treatment.
And here are all the parts of our trailer painted up and ready to go back together. So the whole thing was pretty easy to reassemble and it just screwed back together with the same screws. So the next thing I did was just to make a few little accessories. I've got some little cast barrels and crates and old tins here. There were a few casting lines and sprues here and there. So I'm going to use my needle file just to give them a quick tidy up. And then I stuck them onto some tape and hit them with some grey primer. And then gave them some detailed paint jobs. And these were glued with some PVA glue onto the top of the trailer here and there. And finally I printed out a selection of signs, some undead and zombie warning signs and also a few old Texaco and cola signs etc. So I cut these out and used some PVA glue to glue them onto a thin sheet of styrene. Next I cut out the individual signs with my craft knife. I then painted the rears and around the sides of the signs with some rust. And along with those other cast parts, I use these to decorate the top of the trailer. Just make it a little bit more interesting looking. So that's my post-apocalyptic zombie transporter build pretty much done. Just before we take a look at the finished product, I'll just take a moment to thank you all heaps for watching. And extra special thanks to my Patreon supporters for helping to support the channel through Patreon. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to help out as well. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see similar stuff, remember to subscribe and like and do all the YouTube stuff. So back to our truck. Let's just take one final look back at what we started with.